So, uh, I've had a request to, to, for me to talk about um, being what's called a girl farb in uh, reenacting. Um, a girl farb is generally defined as a woman or female bodied person who dresses up in men's clothing for the purpose of portraying a man or portraying a male role or sometimes portraying um, women who disguise themselves as men, that kind of thing. Um, within the context of a reenactment. Um, my thing about being a girl farb and all that kind of stuff is, is I have a bit of a different relationship to it than some people I've, I've met. And frankly, that's part of what got me started on questioning all my gender stuff. Um, some of you read my other blogs, you know what I'm referring to there. Um, anyway, um, the thing for me about like about reenacting is that I I use it as an escape and one of the things I like to escape is I really hate being perceived as female and so reenacting is an is a way for me to get away from that ideally I'm already living somebody else's life I might as well live a the life of somebody who's at least uh, the gender that I prefer to be perceived as and um so it's frustrating to me that, and I, and I recognize that, that reenacting is inherently a, a conservative community, um, but it's just so frustrating to me that people try and hide what really is just misogyny and sexism under the guise of authenticity concerns. They say, oh, well, it's not authentic to have women in the ranks. Okay, yes, well, but I'm not playing a woman in the ranks. I'm a female-bodied person portraying a man. A short man, perhaps, but a man. So, no, it's, I mean, gah. anyway, um, and the thing is, if you're going to go with, oh, it's an inauthentic for us to have a woman in the ranks. Well, yes, it's also inauthentic for you to have a 45-year-old infantry private in the ranks. It's also inauthentic for you to have a 300-pound um, grenadier in the ranks. It's, it, it's inauthentic for you to have Gatorade in your canteen. If you're going to go pull the authenticity card, let's pull it all the way and say, okay, yeah, we're going to only allow things that would have existed back then, people who would have existed back then. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. 320 pound infantryman, unless you look, uh, like Mark, who is six feet tall and weighs 130 pounds, you're out. I'm sorry. Um, so it, it's frustrating that they try and, I mean, really, like I said, it's really about that they, it's a, it's a boys club and they don't really want women there because they are awkward around women or they don't, they are in the hobby because they want to get away from their wives, girlfriends, etc. And so, in reality, it's just that they don't want women around. But they can't say, I don't want women around, because, hey, it exposed them as misogynistic jackholes. Um, so instead, they do this whole thing of, oh, well, it's inauthentic. Well, yes, it is inauthentic. You know what else is also inauthentic? They, in all likelihood, also are inauthentic. Why the fuck does it matter? We're playing make-believe. It's a big game. Who the fuck cares? The audience knows that you're not a real soldier. I'm pretty sure the audience can also make a jump that the girl dressed as a man is not actually a man. This is not a difficult concept, people. Anyway, it's just frustrating to me because... Reenacting is very much an escape for me, and it becomes not only not an escape, but it becomes a prison when I am forced to play roles that I really have no interest in playing. And it's frustrating to me that 90% of the excuses I have for why girl farbs or gal troops, that's the other word, are not allowed, are just ridiculous and are absurd and have nothing to do with actually improving the hobby or authenticity or anything else. And ironically, some of the groups who I know who are the least bothered by 
gal troops and and everything else are also sometimes some of the most some of the most authentic um it's it's just a real problem there's a lot of bigotry in the hobby against all kinds of things against women against um younger people ironically there's not a whole lot of bigotry against older people that's starting to actually come in nowadays as the population ages but in general i think you're going to get a lot more flack as being a noob than as being a, a guy who's been in the hobby for 30 years but hasn't updated his kid in 20 um i.e inauthentic um so it's just it's a really frustrating situation and Short of making a bunch of units that are openly open to women playing male roles, men playing female roles, uh, to having families there, to having single people there, to having gay people, lesbians, transgender people, whoever, unless that becomes an outspoken thing, I can't really see it changing. Because right now, people hide behind these excuses and so the misogyny and bigotry that is just allowed to to be perpetuated. Um, and until people start calling these people out on it, it's going to continue. And that's why I'm really such a big outspoken um, proponent of people portraying the roles that they want to portray. Because the more people who go, no, the excuse that you're giving as to why I can't do this is based in bigotry the less it's going to happen because those people are going to go they, I mean they know that they're being bigots. They know that they're telling you that they don't that they can't let you in their unit not because <laughs> excuse me um not because you're inauthentic but because frankly they don't want women there. They know that in their head they just can't say that because it would expose them for who they are. However, if you expose them for themselves, well maybe in the future they'll consider not doing that or they'll leave the hobby or whatever. As long as I get to play male role, I really couldn't give a fuck. Um, but the point is that really those of us who are in the hobby who are being disallowed from portraying roles that we want to portray really need to speak up and stand up for our for for what we want to be doing. You know, if and that's why, for instance, I'm in a unit that does not allow gal troops. But I'm okay with that because everything else in their unit is very, very authentic. They don't allow people of a certain age. They don't allow people of a certain body type. You have to be physically fit. You have to have all these other things. So, you know, hey, they're following their own rules. So I'm okay with that. However, groups that I see who have a paratrooper who wouldn't fit through a freaking plain door telling me that my tits make it so that I can't portray a man, despite the fact that everybody who knows me in daily life can tell you I... I'm very good at portraying a man. I'm much better than portraying a woman. Um, but people who like that, who say, oh, no, 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 you have tits. You can't, por you can't play man. Uh, excuse me? You can't fit through a fucking door and you're portraying a paratrooper? Sorry, I feel really sorry for that parachute. Anyway, sorry for the anti-fat thing. It's not, I have no problem with fat people. I'm fat. Um, but in the context of a reenactment, if we're going through auth by authenticity you know, it's a problem. Um, and the thing is, that's the thing is, I don't think it should be. I think the people should be able to portray whatever role they want to play. And that there shouldn't be judgment. And the fact that this there's this stupid um, thing about the authenticity of the individual instead of... In instead of the authenticity of the impression. We need to be focusing on the authenticity of the impression, not the authenticity of the individual. And I think that's the focus. And unfortunately, yes, it does cut out, a, you know, it, <coughs> it does mean that you're going to get people who might not look right. Well, who the fuck cares? You know what? It's also not 200 years ago. It's not World War II. It's not the French Revolution. It's not whatever you happen to be portraying. Deal with it. Anyway, um, so my thing is I have stopped really um, participating in groups that don't allow me to portray roles that I want to play or and or have bad reasons for doing so. Um, and I'm very outspoken about it because I'm hoping to inspire other people to do the same. Because frankly, uh, women are making up a larger and larger percentage of the reenacting hobby and 
our absence would most definitely be noted. And if more and more of us who are upset by what we see in the units boycott the units that are like that, it will eventually get attention and it will eventually change. It's going to be shitty in the meantime, but change never comes around in a nice, easy, even, easy, orderly fashion. This is going to be messy, it's going to be unpleasant, and you may not be able to participate as much as you want. However, ultimately you have to be satisfied with the fact that you know that you are making this better for the people who will come after you. So, ladies, if you want to do a, a girl farm impression, do it. And not only do it, but be outspoken about it. Make sure that people know why you're doing it. Do it well. That's the other thing. Do it well. Actually make an effort to look like a man. But do it. Do the impression. Do it well. And make sure people know what you're doing. And make sure people see that you're doing it well. And that you're able to do it authentically. And I think the more that that gets publicized, the better of a chance that this hobby has of changing. Anyway, that's my rant. <laughs>